<laughs> Shall we get my next guest out, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah! Before we do, let's see him as the 174-year-old vampire Bill in the fantastic True Blood. Oh, Bill! Jessica, let him go! But... As your maker, I command you! God help us. Thank God you're here. Shut up! Now, someone who lives here must invite me in. No, no, don't. He's one of them. He'll kill us all. No, he won't. He's not like that. You, little girl, come here. Eden! Come back here! Eden, don't! Good girl. Now you listen to me. I'm here to protect you. You and your mother and your father. I am your friend. So you just invite me in. And I can make everything stop. You can? Yes. Won't you please come in, sir? Yeah, that's a It makes you want to watch the whole thing. We need things like a Mr. Stephen Moyer. Well, it's great Hello. to have you here. A proper leading man. How lovely to have you here. I had no idea, this shows you how stupid I am, I had no idea that you were British. Uh, when I first started watching uh, True Blood, I assumed you were an American, which is, I guess, a, a tribute to your acting skills. Because you play uh, a guy, is he from Louisiana originally? He's from, he's from Louisiana. He's uh, from a place called Bon Temps in, in Louisiana. And uh, he's part of the American Civil War, and then he gets turned into a vampire around that time. Uh, so where were you from originally here in the UK? Whereabouts? I'm from a place called Brentwood in Essex. So you're an Essex boy. That would, that would explain the shirt open and the gold chain I can see. Oh, I'm going. And so how long did it take you to, to perfect the uh, Louisiana or the New Orleans accent? Because you do do it well, and I guess the tendency is to overdo it when you first start. Would I be right? Yeah, I mean, I, when, I got, when I got the part, I, I hadn't done the voice at all. I hadn't even said it anything out loud. And I went to the audition and I sat in front of the camera and when they said action, that was the first time I'd done it. And I vaguely had done, you know, cowboy accents when I was a kid and, and used to... John like, Wayne, Clint Eastwood, those kind of things. You know, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. And, uh, and so the first time I opened my mouth was the first time I'd done it. And, and it was kind of there. It was, I was quite surprised and they were surprised. And, and then when I got to America, we sent the tape later that day and Alan Ball saw it and... and um, I flew literally the next day. But, you know, it was uh, a great part to get. And also, it, you must have known it would be the kind of part that people at least would like initially, because uh, certainly at the moment, the last few years, vampires couldn't be hotter. People, they love a vampire, don't they? That's unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, it's quite a sexy show, deliberately. Yes. Of course, it's not a show for kids. It's kind of, kind of quite a grown-up uh, show. Uh, yeah. Explain to people who might not have seen it yet, the, the vampires, um, some, there are people, there are humans who want to sleep with the vampires, and some vampires, your vampire in particular, seems attracted to a human, uh, and the vampire's blood is used as a kind of a, it's not an aphrodisiac, it's more like a stimulant, isn't it, for human well, beings? Well, it's almost a hallucinogen. Um, the, the idea is that, that there, is this, there is this synthetic blood drink called True Blood, and the drink has been developed so that vampires don't have to feed on humans anymore. And this synthetic blood actually exists now. I don't know if you knew that. They've actually made synthetic they've, they've blood? They've made synthetic blood for blood transfusions during war situations and stuff like that. And so the idea is that the vampires no, lead, no longer need to feed on... So they could, they could be like, it'd be like vegetarians almost. They could, exactly yeah, that. Yeah. So, but, of course, it's nowhere near as good as the real thing. No, it never is. It never is. <laughs> is it? From, I mean, from experience. I don't know. And, uh, <laughs> and so... You know, we play with the idea that, that none, of the, none of the vampires really can do it. Yeah. They, they have to feed on the, on the humans. And then the vampire blood is, it, is in itself a kind of aphrodisiac, hallucinogen, and people get hooked on it. So I think Alan Ball, who's the creator of our show, was able to use it as a kind of a, a reference for drugs. And um, people so they, get so hooked they on they want to get high in it. So the blood, the difference between the, the fake blood and the real blood, it'd be like when you have lager, if you like lager, then you try one of those non-alcoholic lagers. Exactly that. And you think that's just revolting. Yeah, yeah why would anybody yeah. do that? You go back to the real thing. Exactly. Um, the fans do, obviously, they, they, they can differentiate between fantasy and reality. They know you're not really a, a vampire, but I, I'm guessing 
that they like that side of you? Do they want you to treat them a little bit like the way the character acts? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I should think me and Robert Pattinson have been asked hundreds and hundreds of times to, to bite them. You know, you, so people thing, actually want you to bite them? People come and, and they say, you know, can I have a picture with you? <laughs> bite me, go on. <laughs> can, can you bite me? I'm sorry. They can actually, you, but do they want you to pretend to bite them or do you think they actually want to, you, to break the skin? I think they want you to break skin. <laughs> have there been people where you've thought, well, actually, I would quite like biting you, either because they're very attractive or just very annoying? I, 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 when, I, <laughs> when I saw you earlier, I, I, I thought, what are you wearing? You smell nice. You might need to have a little... I'd like to have a little nibble uh, of you. Obviously, only a little one. Yeah, please don't break so the skin. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the teeth, uh, because you, d you don't yes. see the fangs all the time. They're not there all the time, but sometimes you obviously have to see the teeth. And yes. your ones are kind of more at the front than, than often we think of them as the side ones. So you, sometimes they're kind of near the front, aren't they? Yes, we, we've, we chose to put them on the eye teeth, these teeth, and... Uh, um, well, that makes sense, because they're nearer where you'd bite. Yeah, and it's, uh, it, I think they look kind of more gruesome. Yeah. I've got them here somewhere. <laughs> here you go. Uh, there you go. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. That's pretty, and they're pretty convincing. And they're sharp. So you can talk with them. You can, and can you, is well, it easy or hard to act when you end them? It takes a bit of a while. Yeah. You start, because it starts, everybody talks like that, and it's not very scary at all. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, you sound was, a bit, he sounds a little bit like Trigger from Del Boy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit like that, and there was this, there was this uh, you know, during the first season when we were all just starting, they used to have a, they used, they used to have a back plate on them. And uh, when we, because we were experimenting so right up in the with back ideas, of the mouth, like yeah. a kind of like dentures, like a retainer, you know. Yeah. And uh, we, we were all sitting around. There's a bunch of us, and everyone's talking about work and you know what have you been up to? Oh, I've been doing this and just been doing a play and and so and so and you know work's been really hard to come by. And uh, okay, everybody, can you put your teeth in? Yep. Take so, oh, uh, uh, and now I said to my agent, <laughs> if they don't get them, and it was everybody, everybody sounded like that. Uh, but it must so, be a relief when you're wearing and when you're acting, it must be a relief for the other day when you, when you get to take your teeth out. It is, put yeah. them in a little jar by the bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. When the vampires are having sex, have you seen that? I don't want to hark on about this, but it's, they really go for it, don't they? Yeah, they really do. Uh, and is this, uh, do, they, do they speed the camera up or do they just find people with very, very flexible Very, very hips? flexible hips. <laughs> 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 like that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> But they actually bring, they bring my dog on set and, and see That's what humping. they're like, it's like a dog. They, like when a dog gets your leg. Trying to get it off your leg. Yeah, yeah and you think that's horrible. And yet the ladies seem to like that kind they of... They do, 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 do. they do. Um, that sounds like a bad boost for Scyther. But then you have to... to but then you have to turn to the audience and go... Yeah. Blimey, you do a good Brucey. Just that bit, okay. I can only do that bit. <laughs> well, I'll do the... And you do the chin, there you go. The composite parts come together. So we've uh, got a whole double act. Hold on, he's woken What's up again. What's he got? Um, <laughs> you all right? Uh, yeah. Have a lovely time. <laughs> <laughs> all the best to you, sweetheart. <laughs> come out here, we're all doing Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> oh, lovely. Good game. <laughs> Look at the old scoreboard. OK. <laughs> 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 so 